Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm and I am back to talk to you about adjusting your sensor groups and explaining to you uh, a little about what each one does. And if you don't know what your sensor groups are, they, they are the functions of the sensor, whether you want it to have a slight delay on it, whether you want it to be immediately triggered, etc. So let's check it out here. Go ahead and hit the hamburger icon, get into programming, hit devices, then you're going to select the group that you want to go into. I'm going to go, I only have one door in here, so I'm going to select door, and then I'm going to select my front door specifically. Okay, at this point, you'll see sensor types down here. Okay, so what each one here is, entry delay, that one's going to give you a slight delay on your sensor, whether it be armed in away or stay mode. It does not matter, it's always going to perform the same way. Uh, and it will give you varying levels of a delay on it. Meaning when you open this sensor up, it's gonna give you that many seconds before the alarm actually triggers. Okay, perimeter. That's both for stay and away mode as well. That means the, the sensor is gonna be instantly triggered as soon as it's opened. Interior follower. That's usually reserved for motion detectors because when you arm it in stay mode, you don't want your motions active. That way you can move around the home and everything's gonna be okay and you're not going to have false alarms. Um, so interior follower is specifically for away modes or leaving mode. Okay, Report only means that that is not going to report to our central station. It's going to go ahead and just send a text message directly to you. Uh, that means that you do not want us responding to this sensor for you. Um, 24 hour siren means that this sensor is always going to be armed. Uh, whether it's in disarm mode, stay mode, leaving mode, it does not matter. 24 hour pulsed is also always armed. Um, that is usually reserved for like a, like a fire signal or smoke detectors or, or things like that. Um, a 24 hour buzzer, that is what's used for our water and flood and fire, um, uh, water flood and um, freeze detection devices. My apologies. And finally, we have our 24 hour silent. Um, all these down at the bottom are always going to be armed. So if you choose those, make sure you keep that in mind because this, these sensors are always going to be looking, uh, you know, to, uh, to report something wrong. All right. So um, that is an explanation about each one of the groups. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this back to entry delay here, and then I'm going to go ahead and exit out. But that, ladies and gentlemen, was a, uh, a quick rundown of the sensor groups or sensor types and what each one does. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Take care and stay safe. Please like and subscribe to our page for helpful programming and installation videos, product reviews, monitoring, products, and more. Visit www.geoarm.com or call 877-443-6276. That's www.g e o a r m dot com or eight seven seven four four three six two seven six geoarm the worldwide leader in diy security